Are you in here? I got your note. What do you want? If this is some kind of a joke, I don't think it's funny. I'm going back now. I didn't mean to leave the hanging. It's nuts here. Christina, could you turn that down, please? And a and a pitch. Christina? Oh, no. Christina? I was just practicing. That's your mother's favorite lamp. I'm sorry, Dan. You smashed. Oh. I didn't mean it was an accident. It really was, Dad. I know, honey. I know it was an accident, but this is why we don't play tee ball in the house, okay? Okay, I'll take it outside. Hello? Yep. It's under control. Chrissy, how many times have I told you not to play t-ball in the house? I forgot. We've been through this already, okay? I handled it. Okay, it's under control. Dinner is served. Anyway, they handed me Roger Perlman's old office, you know, the corner one with the view. Charlie's been after it for five years. Pass the fried rice, please. Well, they spent a lot of money to lure you out here. It's in their best interest to keep you happy. That's right. Yeah, but Charlie isn't talking to me now. I mean, this is so ridiculous. How was your day? Oh, the usual. Doing the marketing, fighting with a butcher, slaving over a hot stove. Sweetheart, you really gonna eat all that? I'm hungry. Oh, yeah, and Sid called. Oh, you got the job? I don't know. The publicity people at the studio love the concept. There's one more VP that has to sign off on it, but Sid says I'm a shoe in. Oh, honey, that's great. Oh, Sid. What? 
I left them hanging on the phone when that little crisis hit with the lamp. I must think I got sucked into a black hole. You're awfully quiet tonight. We went to the park this afternoon. Nobody was there. Dad said all the kids are in summer camp. I'm sorry. I know we tried to get you in. We just applied too late. Nope. He's gone. I have to call him in the morning. You know, Anna's going to be here in the next couple of days. You get to do lots of things with her. Seems to me we are pinning a lot of hopes on this girl. Cooking, cleaning, taking care of Chrissy. Big job. You know, my sister had her pairs. They worked out really well. Hey, look, I want it to work as much as you do. Probably more. I just don't harbor any illusions that she's going to march in here like Mary Poppins, wave her magic umbrella, and suddenly put our lives in order. You never know. Why do they call her an old pair, Mom? <laughs> you mean au pair? I don't know. It's French for something. I thought Anna was Swedish. She is Swedish. That's just what they call someone who looks after children. Mom? Huh? What if she doesn't like me? Well, of course she's going to like you. Who doesn't? I promise you and Anna are going to be the best of friends. You know your cousin Sarah? Her au pair, they really love each other. Come on, into bed. Come on. Can you take me to Mystery Mountain this week? Hmm. I wish I could. I've got to work. You got to work. Daddy's got to work. Well, let's see what we could do. Could plan on going later on in the month. Oh, but wait a minute. What? Daddy says we only go to Mystery Mountain when it's a special celebration. If only we had a special celebration coming up. My birthday. Your birthday. <laughs> of course. You knew that all the time. I did. <laughs> Good night. I love you too. Organized my big splash in show business. You know, I wanted to thank you. Oh, yeah? For what? Mm -hmm. For moving 3,000 miles away from home so I could get a better job. For taking care of Chrissy all the time these past few weeks. For being very flexible. Well, my career wasn't exactly burning up the road in New York. So I didn't really have all that much to lose. Well, things are going to start coming around for you. I know it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I mean, you have this whole movie poster thing, though. Uh-huh. And a whole host of fringe benefits. Oh, yeah? Women are inexplicably attracted to men who are in show business. I know. Hello? <clears throat> Ignore them. We're not home. Um. 
I mean, Hello. I wish you really should get it. It's gonna wake Christina. Yeah. Mrs. Cowan? Yes. Um, I'm Anna Bergman. The au pair? Oh, Anna, I'm sorry. Please come in. Hey, no, let me get those. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm Kate, and this is Nick. Hello. Hi. Hi. This is a surprise. Oh, well, yes. We weren't expecting you for at least two days. Yes, I'm sorry. I, I hope I haven't inconvenienced you. I, I'm called to confirm my flight. There was some kind of mix-up with my reservations. Well, that's okay. You're here now. Yes. So? Uh, please. Well, you have a beautiful home. Oh, thank you. Thank you. you know, you should have called us from the airport. We would have picked you up. Please, it was no problem. I took a taxi. It was a beautiful ride. Everything here is so rugged, so wild looking. <laughs> yeah, well, Nick's been meaning to clean it up. Right, yeah. I got a lot of time for that. Excuse me. Well, you must be exhausted. I'll show you your room. Here we are. Small yet tiny. Ah, it's lovely. Really? Is Christina sleeping? Yes, she's going to be so disappointed she missed your arrival. Oh. Well, I, I can't wait to meet her. Oh, yes, in the morning. Uh, listen, why don't you unpack and make yourself comfortable? Yeah. I see anything wrong? No, I just, uh, the keys from my suitcase. I left them in one of my pockets. Oh, uh, maybe it's in your purse. Uh, no, uh... I don't think so. I put it in one of my pockets. Do you think you could get these open for Anna? Sure. I'll just I'll get my toolbox. I'm sorry, Mrs. Cowan. Kate and Anna, really, it's no big deal. Yeah. Aren't you getting your tools? What? What do you mean, what? So, what do you think? I think she seems sweet. Mm, yeah. And not a heck of a lot going on upstairs. <laughs> really? Come in. Anna, this is Christina. Christina, this is Anna. Well, hello there. Well, aren't you going to say hello? Hi. I'm very happy to meet you. Would you like to come in and talk to me? Well, go ahead. You're awfully big. How old are you? Twenty? Twenty-five? <laughs> no, seven. Almost eight. It's going to be my birthday soon. Yeah, I know. July the 24th. How did you know that? Well, your mother wrote and told me. I wrote it in my diary so I wouldn't forget. See? Here we are. Christina's birthday. Well, I've got to get to work, but I can see the two of you are going to get along just fine. Yeah, I'm sure that we will. Anyway, okay, just a few things. Uh, the laundry's really piling up, so if you wouldn't mind right after breakfast. I'll take care of it. Uh, there's a lasagna in the freezer. We'll have that for dinner tonight. I should be home about 6.30. I'll try not to be late because we like to eat at 7. Okay, okay. My office number is on the fridge. You can call me anytime, and Nick will be working here all day. Oh, we'll be fine, Mrs. Cowan. 
right. Oh, the emergency numbers. Fire, police, ambulance, you just dial 911. Thank you. I'm sure that we won't need them. Oh. You be a good girl. You listen to Anna? Okay. Dear Mr. Montiero, I am pleased to enclose a copy of our draft contract for you to review and comment upon. Hey, come on, we gotta get going. Uh, yeah, all right, just a sec. Where was I? Contract for you to review and comment upon. Uh, please call us with your comments at your earliest convenience. Sincerely, blah, blah, blah. Thanks. I don't think I'm gonna make it through this. When we get there, they'll probably keep us waiting half an hour, and then if we're five minutes late, we'll throw a fit. Oh, God. What? Um, I forgot to call Nick. Why? Anna, the au pair, she started today. I wanted to check oh, in. Come on, no, we don't have time. Let's go. Hello? Hi, baby. I only have a minute. How's it going? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. What's the matter? Girl is a walking disaster area. That's what's the matter. Anna? Yes, Anna. I spent more time running around today than the last three weeks combined. First, we had a spoon jam up the garbage disposal. Then she tried to heat up a pot of soup in the microwave. Sparks flying everywhere. It was like the 4th of July. And to top it off, I spent the last hour knee deep in suds mopping up a flood from our washing machine. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Do you want me to talk to her or put her on the phone? No, I can't. She's in her room crying. Uh, honey, I gotta go. I'm gonna be late for a meeting. Can, can you just deal with this until I get home, okay? J just until then, all right? Very easy for you to say. I love you. I love you, too. the washing machine. It was a huge flood. Boy, was Daddy mad. Yeah, I heard. Where is Daddy? I don't know. I think he's painting. Well, I have to go take care of something. Would you please put these cookies away and clean up? Anna? What are you doing? Well, I think it's best this way that... I go. Mr. Carroll is right to be angry. I've just never had such a big house to take care of. And everything here is so much more different than it is at home. I'm sorry, Mrs. Carroll. I, I just wanted this job so much. I know. Anna, look, I understand, and Nick understands, that this is a new experience for you. You moved to a new country, a, a family full of strangers, an unfamiliar house. I mean, it's a big adjustment. We want this to work as much as you do. I'm willing to give it another shot if you are. What do you say? Do we have a deal? Thank you. Well, I'll help you unpack. Oh, that's all right, Mrs. Carroll. I can do it. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'll go see about getting some dinner on the table. Why 
Why did you take so long to contact me? We thought all of the girls were accounted for, Dr. Gross, but and it wasn't until workmen were clearing debris from the fire that they found the body. Some of the girls had already left for the summer break. It, it, it was difficult to determine who was missing. How did it start? There appears to have been a gas leak in the science lab. There was a terrible explosion. Oh. I know how difficult this must be for your doctor, but you must believe and accept that Kirsten is in God's grace. And where, where's her room? <laughs> that was her desk. And this is where she slept. Were there any personal effects on um, jewelry or um, her wristwatch? No? See, she wore, she wore a pendant around her neck always. No, not here. Perhaps she lost it. Perhaps it was destroyed. Mm. Where is her passport? It must be here. Mm. Damn you! Damn you! You were supposed to watch her. her. Her roommate. Now, where is she? She's not here. She left the night of the accident. She left where? Where? What is her name? Anna Bergman. She went to America to work for a family there. Now, she and Kirsten, were they, were they close? Oh, I suppose so. Kirsten asked to be switched to her room several months ago. I want to see Kirsten. I would advise against it, Herr Doctor. She has been badly burned, almost beyond recognition. The police report is very thorough. If you would care to look at it. I am not interested in the police report, and I am not interested in your well-intentioned recommendations. I want to see my daughter. Now, is that possible, Reverend Mother? I'll make the arrangements. Her face has been badly disfigured. That is not Kirsten. That is not my daughter. Paragraph six, the rights granted to you here under are personal and shall not be assigned by you in any part to any third party. You know, I think I'm actually learning to like the taste of styrofoam. Excuse me, it's Nick on line one. Stay calm, baby. No. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby, what's up? Well, I got some good news and some bad news. Which you want first? Give me the good. Okay. Sid called. The last guy signed off. They approved my sketches. Well, Nick, that's wonderful. So what about the bad news? The bad news is they approved my sketches. So now I got to do the damn thing, and I'm stuck. Well, I don't get it. You know you always start off like this. I thought you were calling with some horror story about Anna. No, actually, she's okay. I don't know what you said to her the other day, but so far, no major screw-ups. Well, do you think you trust her enough to make Chrissy and your dinner? Why? You working late again? Well, you know, I don't like it any more than you do. But I'll be home as soon as I can. Mm-hmm. Nick. I adore you. Yeah. Talk to you later. What, another flood? Your family floating around the living room? No, I think our little Anna's going to work out just fine. Yeah? Yeah. No! Excuse me, do you have an aspirin? I have a splitting headache. <laughs> Pardon me, would you pass the cheese, please? <laughs> oh! We 
seen that you have some wonderful costumes here. You know what? I have just the perfect thing to add to it. Come on. What do you think? You look very sophisticated. I think I need some lipstick. It's on the dresser. Chrissy, look at this. Oh, that's pretty. Do you like it? This was my dress at your age. Look at that, it almost fits. Hey, come see in the mirror. someday. Well, I know you are. You know, Chrissy, when you get married, it's a big responsibility. You have to devote your life to your husband, become his soulmate, and do everything in your power to make him happy. How will I know what to do? You'll find out. Excuse me, uh, do you work in this office? Oh, yes, but I, I'm sorry, we're closed. No, I understand, but perhaps you can help me anyway. And I'm trying to find a girl. Uh, well, if you come in tomorrow, Dr. Groschwad, you can fill in an application. No, you see, you see, she works for you. You have placed her with an American family. Her name is Anna Borgman. Oh, well, we, we place many girls here, but I'm sure you understand details of the transactions must remain strictly confidential. Yes, I, I understand, but this is an entirely different situation. My daughter has run away, and she and Anna Bergman were close friends. In fact, they were best friends. So I was hoping that Anna would know where she has gone. I, I'm sorry, Dr. Grossbart. Truly, I am. Well, you don't understand. There is not much time. You must tell me where she is. I'm sorry. I cannot help you. Please let me go. But you can call her, can't you? I can call a policeman if you don't let me go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, will you help me, please? Fine. I'll call her. Check with me tomorrow. Yes, but tomorrow could be... I'll call tomorrow and let you know what I find out. Thank you. What's going on? Well, it seems that uh, Mary Poppins finally waved her magic umbrella. Swedish fruit soup with a dollop of sour cream, poached salmon with a little fresh dill, and we even have a very special homemade plum pudding with brandy sauce. Anna did all this? Cooked it, baked it, spent half the day shopping for it, and you should see the dinner she made for Christina. Well, I'm impressed. What can I say? You can say you're relieved. At least the girl knows how to do something right. Well, it was never down in my mind. No? Mm -hmm. Never? Mm -hmm. Not even just. I want to go say goodnight to Chrissy. Okay. Don't touch any of that food till I get back. Lila, Cole, Hi, Mom. Hi, Pumpkin. Hi. Anna's been showing me all these neat pictures of sweet. Wow. The snow and mountains and sleds and horses. <laughs> well, Anna's been doing all kinds of neat things today. It was a beautiful dinner you prepared. Thank you. It's my pleasure, Mrs. Cowan. Will you read me a bedtime story tonight? Oh, well, sure. I'd love to. Well, in that case, I'll say goodnight. And we'll save my story for some other time. Okay. Oh, are you going to read to her, Anna? Oh, it's all right. It's not, not important. <clears throat> Chrissy, why don't you let Anna read to you tonight? Daddy and I haven't had our dinner yet, but I can read to you tomorrow night, okay? I guess. Good night. Good night. Good night, Anna. Good night, Mrs. Cowan, and enjoy your dinner.
You look fantastic. May I suggest, madam, before the soup, Miss Anna's home-brewed lingonberry wine. It's a very amusing vintage, actually. Mm -hmm. What year? Uh, a week ago, Tuesday. <laughs> it was a very good day for lingonberries. It's cool. on the sweet side. Yeah, just a touch. But it's good. It grows on you. Yeah? <laughs> What's this? That's just some drawings of mine. What kind of drawings? Sort of like a... Uh, Fairy tale by the princess. Can we read it? Sure, if you like. Mm. Oh, it's pretty. Where are the words? Well, we read the pictures and they give us the words. Now. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young girl with pretty hair who lived in the forest with her mother and father. And as she was walking through the woods, something caught her eye. What is it? Hanging from a branch, at the end of a golden chain, there was a pendant. Pendant? Like this? Except the one on the branch sparkles like the colors of the rainbow. But who did it belong to? Oh, he's handsome. Isn't he? He's a real prince. And this pendant is a gift that he gives to the girl who would be his bride. But who gave you your pendant? Well, that's a secret. I won't tell. Well, if I tell you, Christina, you must promise not to tell anyone, not even your mother or your father. I won't, I promise. I was married once. You were? You're awfully young. Well, maybe, but it was the most important day of my life. Who'd you marry? He was a prince. Get out of here. No, I'm serious. A real prince and a very powerful man. And he chose me out of all the girls in his kingdom to be his bride. What happened to him? Where is he now? My father took me away from him. Why? I don't know. But this pendant is something we both share. It ties us together. And no matter how far away my father takes me, my prince and I will always be together. That's so romantic. Yeah. Well, maybe one day, when, when you have your prince, you'll have one of these. Would you like that? Yeah? goes to look for the prince, but that mean spirit, the one who doesn't want her to find him, gets her lost in the woods. Mmm, sounds frightening. Thank you, Anna. Would you like some more pancakes, Mrs. Cowan? No, no, but they're wonderful. How about you, Chrissy? I think Chrissy's had yes, enough. Yes, please. Okay, coming right up, miss. Anna? Just one more for Chrissy. All right.
So what happened next? So she gets lost in the woods, mm -hmm. and her father goes to look for her, but that mean spirit Hi. makes the forest all black, like it's night. And that's when the prince comes along on his beautiful horse and saves her. Ah, uh, the prince. Did I hear someone call my name? No, Dad, you're not the prince. The prince is handsome. Thank you, sweetheart. The prince was in Anna's picture story. Anna's an excellent artist. I'm sure she is. Anna, you should show your drawings to Daddy. He's an artist, too. It's just a hobby, really. Some things that I do for myself. Uh-huh. This looks great. What's today's date? The 20th. Why? Four more days till Mystery Mountain. Well, I don't think we're very anxious, are we? Listen, I gotta go. You have a good day. Bye. And you. I'm a breakthrough. It's open. Hope I'm not disturbing you. No, you can't disturb somebody who isn't doing anything. What's up? I thought you might like some coffee. Well, thanks. Coffee sounds great. But this is quite impressive. Mm. Yeah, thanks. I like this one. It's interesting. Key art. It's a uh, one sheet for a movie poster. For the cinema? Yeah, it will be if I ever finish it. I just can't seem to get a sense of... I can't get a handle on it. Wait, what is the film about? It's a thriller about a family under siege. I've painted this damn thing six times. This is the worst one, actually. It looks like they're posing for a Christmas card. <laughs> Well, thanks for the coffee. I brought the drawings. The drawings. Oh, right. Your drawings. If this is a bad time, I can come back or... No, that's okay. Let's have a look. Is it not exactly professional? Oh, I'm sorry. It's the other way. This. Really? Really. Can you see what's happening? Well, it's a man in the dark. A uh, forest. He's in the forest. And he's lost something. His daughter. He's searching for his daughter. I like the way you've obscured the forest and hidden things in the trees. It's almost like you can see her hiding in the shadows. It's as though he were afraid of the darkness, but drawn towards it. Well, sort of like the poster. Well, excuse me if I sound so presumptuous. No, 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 that's okay. Well, perhaps if... The background was a little less defined, so that the family is drawn to the darkness, even though it's frightening, because there's safety in the shadows. And I must go back to work now. Yeah, hello? Oh, good morning.
morning. This is the au pair exchange calling from Stockholm. Is Mrs. Cowan there, please? Speaking. Oh, I'm sorry to disturb you, Mrs. Cowan, but I have a gentleman here, a Dr. Grossbart. He's trying to contact Anna Bergman. Is she available? Uh, I I'm afraid she's gone out. Perhaps I can help you. Well, it seems that Anna is a friend of his daughter. Yes, Kirsten. Kirsten mm -hmm. Grossbart. She has disappeared. Oh, how awful. And he thought that Anna might have some idea where she was. Look, uh, why don't you give me the information and uh, when Anna returns, I'll have her call him, okay? Do you have a pencil? Right here. It's Dr. Stefan Grossbart. Telephone. Give me the number. Zero one one. Four, Excuse me. Uh, hello, this is Dr. Grossbart speaking. This is Kirsten's father, and I must speak with Anna immediately. It's a ma it's a matter of great emergency. Um, it is absolutely imperative that I speak to her without delay. Damn it. Damn it. Hi. Oh, it's strong. I like it. Yeah. It's the craziest thing. Anna came in here to show me one of her drawings, which are very good. She's got talent. And one of them just set me off. Really? It's very interesting. You change the light, you change the whole thing. Well, you want to take a break? You want to get some tea with me? Uh, no. Actually, honey, I ate already. Thanks. You did? Well, you want to keep me company while I eat? Uh, no, I really want to nail this before I lose it. You don't mind, do you? No, of course not. I'll see you inside. Uh-huh. Hi. Hi. All washed up? Let me look at those pearly whites. Mm. Oh, can I see the back ones? How about I read you a special story tonight? A couple of chapters of Charlotte's Web. Well, maybe tomorrow. Anna's waiting for me. She's going to tell me some more of her picture story. Oh, all right. Well, then let's brush that hair then. Mom, Anna did it already. Can't you tell? Oh. Well, how about a good night hug then? Good night, Mom. for you. Did you finish up? For today, yeah. <sighs> Would you rub my neck, honey? Oh, 
feeling a little tense. <sighs> Tough day. Brutal. Mm, that feels good. Too many hours. I've been missing it. Yeah, I've been missing you too. What time is it? It's a quarter to eight. I can't believe you have to go to work today. Even God took a day off, you know? It's eight o'clock, Christina. If you want breakfast, you're gonna have to come in now. Mrs. Cowan, uh, would you care for some breakfast? No, thank you. I'm not. Isn't today your day off? Well, I was up and Christina was hungry. Uh, may maybe let me get you at least some coffee or some toast. No, thank you. I'll get something at the office. Have a good day, pumpkin. Bye. Have a nice day, Mrs. Cowan. Dark hair. The princess has okay. more light. Yeah. You just go down like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. A nice imprint on the forehead. It's very nice. Look, Daddy. Look what I did. The girl and the prince. They're getting married. Mm, very nice. She's gifted, isn't she? You know, they say that talent like this runs in the family. Mommy can't draw. <laughs> <gasps> Look what time it is, Christina. I've got to hurry. Come on, help me clean this up. What's the rush? Where are you going? Anna won't tell me. It's a, it's a surprise. It's a surprise. Can I come? Well, it's something special, just for the girls. Please. Nope. No boys allowed, right, Anna? That's right. I'll wear a dress. <laughs> Goodbye, Nick.
sorry. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. Oh, I wish I could say the same for these. Who are you? Bob McDowell. Bob Dreams Keeps Unlimited. A new gardener. You wouldn't be Mrs. Callum by any chance. Yes. <laughs> Please meet you. Hey, what's going on? I was going to ask you the same question. Mrs. Callum and I had a bit of a run in. I'm afraid I broke your eggs. That's okay. We'll deduct it from your bill. Okay. <laughs> Let me take one of these. I'm sorry about that. I, I guess okay. I'll, I'll get started on the chaparral on the side of the house. Right. Who's he? Only the best landscape artist in Topanga. Well, can we afford this? I mean, all the rose bushes? I won't believe how cheap he is. I really got to hand it to Anna. Anna? Yeah. What has she got to do with this? She found him. She bumped into him at the mini mart, and the next thing you know, he's reworking his calendar to fit us in. What? I mean, this is a big decision. Don't you think we should have discussed oh, it? Honey, honey, you have been bugging me to clean this place up since we moved here. Now, I've been busy, you've been busy. I thought she would be thrilled. I'm thrilled. Where's Christina? She and Anna went off somewhere this morning. Some big secret. <sighs> what is this? We had the best time today. Anna took me to Mystery Mountain, and she bought me this costume, and I wore it in the haunted house. I scared everybody. I thought we were going to go to Mystery Mountain together. Anna took me today instead. We went on all the rides. You know? Anna, tell them about the roller coaster. Right, all right, Chrissy. We'll tell them all about your day a little later. But right now, I want you to take off the costume and go and get washed up. I'll make some dinner. I'll be making dinner tonight, Anna. Thank you very much. Please take Chrissy to her room. All right. Come on. What was that all about? She knew I was planning to take Christina for her birthday. Anna? Christina has been talking about it for four weeks. So what are you saying? Do you think she did it deliberately? I don't know what to think. Where are my saucepans? Anna? Anna, will you calm down? I am calm, Nick. Anna! Anna! Yes, Mrs. Cowan. Where are my saucepans? The saucepans are when I put them in the cabinet over the stove. Did I ask you to rearrange my kitchen? No, but I just thought that it might be more efficient. My kitchen was perfectly efficient before. I want things where I put them, not where you think they belong. All right? Yes, of course. And were you also aware that I had plans to take Christina to Mystery Mountain for her birthday? No, I was not. Chrissy didn't tell you? No, I had no idea. I'm sorry if I ruined your plans. It was not my intention. Fine. In the future, I expect you would check with me before you go on another one of your secret outings. Is that understood? Yes. I'm sorry. Damn it. Don't you think you are overreacting just a oh, little I'm bit? I'm overreacting? Fine. Then you make dinner. I'm going to take a nap. Still wearing that. Come on, Mom, it's a surprise. What's with the lights? I don't like surprises. Nick? Woo! Nick? Woo! Turn the lights. Woo! Come on, honey. We're just playing. It's a game. Here we go around the 
mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush so early in the morning. Here we go round the mulberry bush. Christy, stop. That was enough. Nick, turn the lights. Come here, sweetheart. Come here. Kate's not wanted anymore. Gonna throw her out the door. <laughs> Crazy? What are you doing? Perhaps some lingonberry wine before dinner, Mrs. Cowan. <laughs> oh, stop it, please! What's the matter, Katie? Don't you like the way it tastes? I made it especially for you. <laughs> We just sat down. I didn't want to wake you. Give me that. What is the matter with you? What are you doing? What are you crazy? What was that all about? I don't know. Just, uh, I saw the three of you there, and something snapped. I don't... I want to get rid of her. Anna. Yes, Anna. Of course, Anna. Why? Because she rearranged your cabinets? Because she took Chrissy to an amusement park? Yes, that and, and a dozen other reasons that you're probably going to think are petty and ridiculous. You know, the way her drawings inspire you. The way she brushes Chrissy's hair at night and, and whispers secrets in her ear. The way she makes me feel like a stranger in my house. The main thing is, I don't like her. And I don't think she likes me very much. Okay. Fine. We'll get rid of her. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. I'll call the agency first thing in the morning. And I will get the ball rolling. It could take a little while before we get a replacement. Can you hang in with her until then? You don't think I'm being petty and ridiculous, do you? No. You can't help how you feel. It's just bad chemistry, that's all. Is it a castle? It's a church. Oh, yes, of course. I see. This is the steeple, right? What are these? Are these clouds? It's smoke. The church is on fire. Well, this is interesting. Is that you? And Daddy? No, that's the prince. The prince? He says I'm going to marry a prince. Just like she. Just like she what, sweetheart? Nothing. Would you like one? Sure. 
You know, I wanted to come in because I wanted to make sure. I just wanted you to know that I wasn't feeling well earlier. But I'm all right. I just didn't want you to feel scared. And I said you were sleepwalking. Well, I guess I was. I must have been. Thank you. Anyway, I was thinking, I think it would be fun if we had a party here for your birthday. Would you like that? Mom? Hmm? When I grow up, I'm going to be an artist and take care of children, just like Anna. Well, I think you have a long time to decide things like that, don't you? How about some green in there? Were you angry at Anna for taking me to Mystery Mountain? Yes, I was a little angry because we had plans. But we're going to have a wonderful time at the party tomorrow instead, aren't we? I'm done now. May I be excused? Hi, Bob. Christina, come here. I want to show you something. That for me? Mm -hmm. It's for your party. I love it. Could I put it on? Not right now. I'll tell you what, though. Why don't you take it in the house and show it to Anna? Not right now. So, you feeling any better now? I guess. I called the agency this morning. And? Be a couple of weeks, but they can send us a new girl. When are we going to tell Anna? Whenever we want. Probably a good idea and wait until we know exactly when the new one will get here. You know, I, I didn't want things to turn out this way. I, I know. Like I said, it's just bad chemistry. Look what Anna gave me to wear for my birthday. Oh, honey, you look beautiful. She looks just like a little bride, doesn't she, Mrs. Cow? Last night. In the studio, painting. I'm going to the office. Where's Christina? She's still asleep. When will we be home? Sometime in the afternoon. Now, I don't get it. Nick agreed that this little Miss Scandinavia has got to go, right? Right. So, what's the problem? The problem is, I don't believe him. I think he's just telling me what he thinks I want to hear. I woke up last night, Nick was gone. This morning, he's in the kitchen, all warm and cozy with Anna. He says he was working in the studio all night. So, you think that there might be something going on between them? I don't know what to think anymore, Liz. I really don't. I mean, because if that's what you're thinking, you have to talk to him. Just lay your cards out on the table. Yeah, you're right. And if that doesn't work, shoot him. Thanks. 
I'm going to talk to him tonight. No, you'll talk to him right now. No, I've got work I've got to do now. Forget about the office. I will cover for you, all right? Now get out of here. Go on. I'll call you. <laughs> okay. Oh, Christina? Hi, Mom. What are you doing? Get down from there. Where did you get these? Bob gave them to me. And where's Anna? I don't know. I think she went somewhere with Daddy. And left you here all alone? I'm not alone. Bob's here. Christina? Christina, I'm not done talking to you. Hi, Bob. Hi. How are you? Hello. This one. You take the other one. But don't let Christina uh -oh. see. Because... <gasps> yeah, what'd you get? Ah, uh, no picking, Christina. No picking. I want to talk to you. Come on, Chrissy. Let's go. What the hell is going on here? What do you mean? What do I mean? You and Anna out gallivanting in the middle of the no, day? We were not gallivanting. We went to pick up Chrissy's presents and get a few things for the party. And you left Chrissy here with Bob? Oh, Bob is all right. Chrissy's crazy about it. No, her. I don't care. You know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what she's trying to do, but she's not going to get away with it. Do you hear me? What are you talking about, Anna? Are you sleeping with her? Uh, you are being really ridiculous. Tell me, Nick. Answer me. I want that woman out of my house now, today. And what do you propose we do with Chrissy? I don't know. I don't know. Right, we'll so figure what do we something. tell her? That Anna had to go away because mommy couldn't stand the competition. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means that all of this paranoia about me and Anna is really about you and Anna. It means that maybe you're just a little bit afraid of losing your daughter to a woman who's better at being a mother than you are. Yes. I don't have time for this, okay? You want to fire her? Fire her. Just leave me out of it, okay? Where are you going? For a ride. Stefan Gross, Bob, we, you must listen to me carefully. We don't have much time. Your, your, your daughter's in great danger. Well, what are you talking about? Who are you? No, please just listen to me. The young woman, the young woman who's caring for your little girl, she is not the real Anna, Anna Bergman at all. She is my daughter. Her name is Kirsten Gross, Bob, and she is an, an evil, an evil young woman who will stop at nothing to get what she wants. What does she want? Your child, Mrs. Cowan. Christina has been chosen. Chosen? To make a bond with the devil. Oh, but this is absurd. What are you talking about? Some kind of a cult? I, I, know, I know it is difficult for you to understand and, and to believe, but please, I, I swear to you, what I'm saying is very real. It is very real. You must get your daughter away from there. Get Christina away from that place and away from my daughter. Now is the summer we can meet. I am at LAX now. H Hello, are you there? Uh, yes, uh... Uh, there's an old hotel on, on Pacific Coast Highway, uh, north of uh, Canyon Glen. Do you know where it is? I'll, well, I'll, I will find it. I will find But please hurry. Please. And I will pray for you, Mrs. Khan. I will pray for you. Sweetheart, let's go. Christina? Christina?
What are you doing here? I know who you are, Kirsten. I spoke to your father. Get out of this house. Christina stays. We'll see about that, won't we? We're going to go on a trip, just I you and me. I do want to go on a trip. Do as you're told. No! I want to go! I want to go! Let me go! I want to go! Let me go! Let me go! Let her go. Go! Don't let her do this, Nick. Help me, please! Anna, maybe we should tell her, maybe. Shut up, Nick. It's best, Kate. You can't take care of Chrissy right now. Why is she doing this to us? What does she want from us? My daughter is fulfilling a pact, Mrs. Cowan. A pact with the devil. From each generation, he chooses a bride, a little child. On her eighth birthday, she is offered and wed. They put a charm around her neck. Red, crystal, pendant, symbol of their bond. Then on her 21st birthday, she will bear him a child. She will raise the child to maturity. She will groom him to take the positions of power. Yes, my daughter has spoken her vows, Mrs. Cowan, just as yours will tonight, unless we stop them. My baby, she wouldn't come with me. Kirsten seduced her, the way she seduced her husband, the way her predecessor defrauded me of my little daughter. My dear wife was driven to her grave. We don't have much time. My daughter has a black liturgy. It's rather like a, a book of rites, like a children's book of pictures. It. Now, the ceremony cannot be performed without a book. So we must find it, destroy it, break the spell, and get your daughter back.
I give thee Christina. Let me through, Nick. She's got our little girl. She'll be safe. Why? Tell her, Nick. The future. I wanted my career back. And Christina will be set for life. You can join us, Kate. Is that what you want? For Christina to be like her, driven to obey, driven to murder. I mean, for God's sakes, Nick, she had her own father killed. I didn't know that. <gasps> Nick! Nick! Help me, please! Nick! Get off of her! Come to mommy now. Where is she? It's too late. You've lost her. I don't believe you. Christina! She's his servant now. She answers only to him. Mommy? Christina? Honey? Christina, please. I love you, baby. Satan loves her. She's his bride now. Christina, please. Come to me, baby. It's okay. Stay where you are, Christina. The prince will be very angry. You don't have to be frightened. Just throw the book in the fire, Christina. I'm scared, Mommy. He'll punish you, Christina. He'll hurt you it's very okay. badly. No one's gonna hurt you, Pumpkin. Do as I say, Christina. Christina! Do it. Christine! Ah! Come on, this way. It's all right, baby. It's all over. We're not going very far. Well, neither am I. I just get in the back. Mm -hmm. Sure. Hello there. Well, you're awfully big. How old are you? Twenty? 